Greetings coding enthusiasts. Today's tutorial is about bringing people closer through technology. Now imagine creating your own chat application using Java where users can exchange messages in real time. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced programmer, this is going to excite you and it is important at the same point. Um, this project will enhance your understanding of Java sockets and networking. In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll also dive into the fascinating world of networking communication and build a simple yet powerful chat application. So, what's there to wait? Grab your coding hats and let us embark on this exciting journey together. We'll be building this application using two Java classes. What are they? First one is chat server, second one is chat client. The chat server class will handle incoming connections and message exchanges while the chat client class will uh, connect to the server and allow users to communicate. So I'm here in the screen. What we'll do first is create a class named chat server for the server side of the chat application. Okay, so let us do it. So what we'll do now is create the main method. Done. Now we'll declare all the sockets and input output stream. Let us do it. Now we will write our whole logic in try catch finally block. Finally block is used to close all the resources that we have declared above. <coughs> now we will create a server socket that listens for incoming connections. What is server socket? Server socket class represents a server socket that waits for requests to come in over the network. What is 5000 over here? 5000 is the port number on which the server socket will listen. You can give any number here but we have to use this port when we write the client class. Now we will write the code to create input output streams. Here what is accept? Accept is the method that waits for a client to connect and return a socket object uh, which represents the connection. Now what we'll do is uh, we'll create an input output stream for the client. So what does get input stream mean over here? Get input stream returns an input stream for the reading data from the socket. And what about uh, this get output stream? It also returns an output stream for the writing data to the socket. This buffered reader and print writer are used for efficient reading and writing of the text. Now we'll create a separate thread to read messages from the client. Separate thread is required to handle client request. In this while loop, we read messages from the client. And uh, what about this finally block? In this finally block, we closed buffer reader. Now we'll start the communication.
over here using input stream reader we will take input from system now we will close all the connections in the finally block over here you can see an error has occurred what to do now you have to uh, press alt and enter on your keyboard and then click on surround with try catch it will be recovered so we have done writing our chat server code now in the similar manner we will write the code for chat client so now in the similar manner uh, we will create chat client class in chat app package um, Now we will write our whole logic in try catch finally block as we did in chat server. So let us do it. First let us create a client which will call client socket to connect to the server. Here as we are running a uh, client and server in the same laptop we use a uh, localhost here but instead of localhost we should write IP address here this IP address is the address where the server is running let us open a command prompt how to open windows uh, plus R and we will write CMD over here it will open in our uh, system we will type ipconfig and we will press enter you can see the ip address uh, over here let us copy this so instead of localhost now uh, we will copy paste the ip address that here 5000 is the port number which the server is listening you remember this port we have used in chat server class 2 over uh, over here yes we used it over here also and we are using it over here also now let us create input and output streams for the client So get input stream is used for reading data from the socket and get output stream is used for writing data to the socket. Okay, the same thing happened in chat server class 2. Uh, buffered reader and print writer are used for efficient reading and writing of the text. Now we will create a separate thread to read messages from the server. It is kind of similar only.
so why have i written customer care over here because uh, this chatting will go on between customer care and the user and over here chat server is the customer care chat client is the user so over here we are printing the message that we are receiving from chat server always make sure to start this thread over here using a uh, input stream reader we will take input from the system now we'll close all the connections in the finally block so over here this error will be recovered uh, using alt plus enter on your keyboard and we'll click on surround with try catch Now finally it's time uh, for us to run this code to see what the chatting is, uh, how our chat application works, uh, our uh, hard work of writing on this code will be worth it. Let's see. Now first we have to run chat server. If you don't run chat server first then our chat client will not work. Let us run it. Now we'll run chat client. Now we'll click on chat client. I mean right click and we'll uh, click on this option split and move down. You can see server is connected to client and client is connected to server. So both are connected to each other. What we'll do is to start our chat uh, in a fresh manner. We'll click on clear all, right click, clear all. Okay. So first we'll start with client. Now we'll enter to send the message. You can see the same message is received by chat server uh, as a user. Not chat server will or the server will say something. Enter to send. You can see client has received the server uh, message that is as a customer care. Now client will say something. So that is the end of the conversation but if you want to continue it uh, again you can do so. Now it's time to summarize what we have learned today. We have created a simple chat application using two Java classes chat server and chat client. So first we had created the chat server class. After that we had created a server socket. Next we had accepted client connections. After that we had created input output streams. After that we had created a separate thread to read messages from the client. Then we had started communication. Finally we had closed connections in the uh, finally block. In the chat client class we had first created it. After that we had created a client which is client socket. Next we had created input output streams. Then we had created a separate thread to read messages from the server. After that we had started a communication. And finally again we had closed all the resources in the finally block. This was everything about the code. Please try this code in your system. Uh, I hope you will enjoy it. Though it is a long process you will enjoy it. It is going to be interesting. The end result is uh, worth the time. 
for more videos like this please like share and subscribe to Intelli skills these type of projects are coming more frequently um, and we'll make sure to share them with you thank you bye bye have a great day ahead